Dubai has a reputation for collecting some of the richest people in the world. But it isn't just adults enjoying the luxury available in the UAE city. The kids are also splashing out their fortune there. And one of the most well-known is Rashed Belhasa, also known as the face of the YouTube channel Money Kicks. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at Belhasa. We'll see where his fortune comes from as well as explore the strangest and most expensive purchases he has made, including a private zoo that celebrities flock to, a pricey shoe collection, and supercars wrapped in fashion brands. So, let's get started. The source of Rashed Belhasa's fortune, especially during his early days in the vlogging industry, comes from his construction magnate father, Saif Ahmed Belhasa. In 2001, he created the company Saif Belhasa Holding. At the time, just one company was under the company's umbrella. Now, there are over 50 companies with over 10,000 employees. According to some sources, at the time of writing, Saif Belhasa's net worth is somewhere between $2.1 billion to $4 billion. Rashed has ambitions to create a financial empire in his father's footsteps. And he might already be there, considering some sources claim his net worth at the time of writing is around $3 billion. In 2013, at around 11 years old, Rashed Belhasa took his first steps into vlogging via Instagram. Not long after, he created the YouTube channel Money Kicks to showcase his expensive lifestyle. At the time of writing, he has 2 million followers on Instagram and 3.09 million subscribers on YouTube. According to reports, when he was 15, Belhasa was splashing out around $5,000 a month on just clothes. In July 2021, Belhasa took part in social knockout at the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. This boxing tournament had YouTubers taking on TikTok stars. Belhasa won his bout against Anas Al Shaib. While we don't know how much Belhasa made from his boxing debut, in a similar event in June 2021 in Miami, Bryce Hall claims he had a base purse of $5 million and a further $1 million should he knock out Austin McBroom. Thanks to his various social media accounts, we get to peek at what Belhasa has splashed his cash on. In 2017, he spent around $30,000 on a first-class ticket aboard an Emirates Airbus A380 to Los Angeles. The pricey ticket gives you a private suite to enjoy. The suite comes with a mini bar, a chair that converts into a bed, and a large TV. In preparation for his boxing debut, Belhasa teamed up with the founder of Prochox, Clement Auberger, to design a special mouthguard for the battle. According to their website, Prochox can create luxury custom mouthguards with prices starting from $10,000. Belhasa's guard is made with 18 karat gold and South African diamonds and costs $50,000. In 2019, Belhasa decided to get the world's most expensive perfume, Shumuk by the Spirit of Dubai. What makes the perfume special is the artistic design of the bottle. It's formed of 3,571 diamonds with 18 karat gold, silver, pearls, and topaz also playing a role. In fact, Shamuk holds a Guinness World Record for the most diamonds set on a perfume bottle. The bottle even sprays the perfume via a remote control. Shamuk is valued at 4.752 million United Arab Emirates dirham, or nearly $1.3 million. Belhasa grew up in perhaps every kid's ideal home. It even includes a zoo, but more on that in a bit. Outside the mansion is a swimming pool complete with a waterfall and slide. Under the waterfall is a grotto where water can spray down from the ceiling, while above the waterfall is a jacuzzi where you can relax and take in the views of the garden or just stare down at people in the pool. Also outside is a professional-esque football-slash-soccer pitch. It even has floodlights for games in the dark. While inside the abode, there is a games room with a ping-pong table, a massive TV for gaming, and a pool table. But the highlight of the mansion is definitely the sprawling private zoo. It's enclosed on the property in a separate area from the main house. The zoo, which isn't open to the public, is said to contain over 500 animals, including lions, tigers, giraffes, and many, many more. Many celebrities have visited specifically to see the animals, such as Mariah Carey, Jackie Chan, Floyd Mayweather, and numerous football-slash-soccer players. 
Belhasa started collecting the animals from neglected zoos. Fun fact, many of the animals are named after luxury brands, such as Versace the Lion, Orangutan's Gucci and Dior, and Armani the Chimp. There are even giraffes named Bert and Ernie. According to experts, building a full-size public zoo can be expensive. Toronto Zoo reportedly cost 22 million Canadian dollars, around 17.3 million American dollars. With inflation, that would be the same as 117.9 million Canadian dollars, or 93 million American. While feeding the animals each year costs 900,000 Canadian dollars, or 710,000 American dollars. Smaller petting zoos can be costly as well. They can cost up to $50,000 for construction alone, so we can only imagine the massive price the Belhasa family paid for theirs. Also in Belhasa's house is a room dedicated to his passion for collecting shoes. This is necessary considering he has thousands of pairs. Some estimates believe he has over 200,000 shoes. In particular, sneakers slash trainers. Each pair of shoes has its own dedicated area to be shown off. In 2017, his massive collection was estimated to cost around $1 million. One of his prized pairs is the 2004 Air Jordan 13, signed by Michael Jordan himself. According to Belhasa, in 2016, these shoes were his most expensive purchase when he spent $1,900. Since then, Belhasa has also added a pair of Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red October to his collection. In the past 12 months, they've been sold for as much as $15,000. But shoes aren't the only collecting hobby Belhasa has. Supercars are also involved. In 2017, he was gifted a Ferrari F12 Berlinetta for his birthday. But on top of being a stunning vehicle, it was also wrapped in a Louis Vuitton and Supreme print. However, since he was only 15 years old at the time, Belhasa couldn't drive it on the roads. In 2017, the manufacturer's suggested retail price, or MSRP, for the Berlinetta was $319,995. Only a year later, Belhasa reportedly placed his Ferrari up for sale with a bargain asking price of around $190,000. This isn't the only time he's owned custom-wrapped luxury vehicles. In 2016, Belhasa also got a Cadillac Escalade wrapped in black and white Yeezy print. In that year, the MSRP for an Escalade was up to $91,950. In early 2021, now able to drive on the road, Belhasa decided to splash out on a brand new Rolls-Royce Ghost. They go for as much as $311,900. Sticking with his love of rapping, this time the fashion brand Dior had its logo covering the Belhasa car. Final fact finish, Rashed Belhasa isn't the richest young person in the world. According to Forbes, the wealthiest teenager at the time of writing is Germany's Kevin David Lemon. At 19 years old, he currently has a net worth of $3.6 billion. He achieved this by inheriting 50% of his father's company, Drogeri Market, a drugstore chain, back in 2017.